Okay, so some people have been asking me if I could change the Raycast and Game Maker, what would I add to it to make it better? Um, really, it's all I need. I would really like to add more uh, just basic sprites. These are just things that are just like decoration. So I want more than like 10. So I want to be able to like add sprite, add sprite, add sprite, like a little button. And then do the uh, animation in case I shoot it. Like I shoot the fountain, it just has a leak and it starts leaking water. So I want to be able to add like seven, uh, like uh, a sprite seven, add animation, add animation, add animation. Like the first one's the basic one that you see. And then I want to do other animations in case I shoot at it or whatever. And then collision detection, like you're not supposed to walk into it or you do walk into it or endurance until it actually gets destroyed. Uh, wall textures. I would like a few more ability, I want more ability to actually like do wall textures. So like a scroll bar where you can scroll and just like add wall textures. So like this import wall texture. I want to like continually add wall texture. Then if you do do animate, like say um, wall one, animate. I want to be able to add what type of animation to it. And it can be from, it can be like import folder, so you don't continually don't. So like you right click it, so you first uh, you do like right click it animation for wall texture, and then it's like okay, this is a wall texture. It has been set to do animation load animation folder, so you're not continually doing clicking a whole bunch of uh, little pictures. It's a actual folder filled with the type of animation you want. So that would be nice. Uh, enemies. I want to be able to add more enemies. I can add enemy button. Um, probably a standstill animation. So before they actually s see you, they're like standing still or doing some sort of standstill animation. Then a walk animation when they're walking towards you. And then attack, and then a die animation. There may be the ability to add more than just five or two animations, because I'm stuck on like two attack animations, and sometimes that gets annoying. I want the ability to add different doors. See, for door, uh, for um, level one, I can only add this wood door, and it gets pretty frustrating when the building you're doing. It's not really meant to have a wood door. So I would like to be able to um, say door and import door textures. And so if I would just like for the wall, on like the walls, I want it says import walls. So you can put any of these type of walls anywhere in the game. I can put stone, or I can maybe I can put a bookshelf, and I can put the sky. Or that's not a wall texture, that's a well, uh, sky texture, but maybe another stone, some metal. I want to be able to uh, do that for the door. So it'd be nice if you clicked like a uh, door, and it came up with uh, like a little something like this, where you can have like any type of doors, and this would be used for any type of levels. And you can't animate the doors, but that would be nice. Uh, I mean, not animating, but just having the choice to do more than one type of door for each level. Next level door, it can just be the, just like this setup, where you're just importing it from here, because so, I just want that to be one type of door. I want more basic sprite items. Um, the six weapons are nice. I would like to um, be able to. I don't know, change the type of bullet, because in this game, you can only have one type of bullet for all the guns, and that's not really that great if you have a plasma gun and it's shooting a bullet from a handgun. So if I can like have a button right here that's a, uh, where you, first you click show bullet, then you click bullet uh, animations, and then you import a folder, or like six animations, or continually load animations, of the actual bullet. Um, you, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, this setup is pretty nice. Um, treasure thing, maybe to add a different type of tre treasure, but it's really not a big issue with me. Um, I would like to be able to choose different type of floors and ceilings. So you can have a button down here, where you, I mean like this will be able to scroll this panel so you can click floor and then you can, uh, once you click floor, it will show you all of the, uh, the floor texture, the default floor texture. So then you can paint in like you do on, on the wall, uh, the actual floor. And we'll show the wall and um, like here, like say this blue is the default floor. And I click floor and I can then paint floor and like I do on the wall but you'll be able to see the wall so you have to paint around that so you can say like uh pretend the sky's the floor so I can click and I can paint in the floor texture and say like uh this is the floor texture and I want this to be different floor texture and then what happens when you click ceiling is when you click ceiling, uh, all the floor texture will disappear and you'll be able to uh, load in your um, ceiling textures and then paint where you want a different type of ceiling. And then when you go in game, you'll see the floor and the ceiling that you want. Now to import those, I would like to have like a, oh, something like this. But I don't want to be limited to one ceiling and one floor texture in each level. I want to have like a few textures. So something like this wall texture chooser would be nice for like the ceiling and the floor. Um, health and ammo thing I think is nice. It'd be nice to choose different types of ammo. Like you can't just have one type of ammo for one type of gun. Uh, It'd be nice if you like click this and then you had a little box come up that had different ammo and you could set its ammo mat it's the type of ammo that I had inside of it and then it, it was like a chooser so say uh this thing says ammo and it's a button okay i have a box in front of me and it's let's see not that Similar to like this, so say I, I clicked ammo and it came up with like an ammo screen and I had, I was able to add a different type of ammo. So it said ammo, size of ammo pack, ammo 2, size of ammo pack. And I click one of them and then I'm able to place it anywhere in the game. Same with health, I just don't want one type of health. So if I could import multiple different types of health, that'd be nice. Key, um... I guess if I could have multiple keys, that'd be nice in case you have to open uh, using one key for one door and the other key for the other door. Uh, that'd be nice. It's not a must on that one. It's kind of basic. Um, sounds for like this one. This one's okay. If I could just change the sound. So it's like enemy three, hey. I could change it, I could change uh, the, it would be nice. Settings, uh, game pack, password, game settings, this is fine right now. Um, and then icon, create game, execute game, exchange worlds, don't use that, save, quit, um, yeah, this th that would actually be really nice. Um, there's one thing where I would actually want to change the floor and ceiling height if that is possible. I know it's possible in Doom. If you if uh, you look up like Doom Builder, you can change um, the height where everything is, like ceiling and floor height. Uh, that would be nice if you're able to do that in some limited way. So I can add like. Um, animated uh, floor texture so yeah that would be actually nice if I could do an animated floor texture uh, like water or lava and just uh, be able to uh, lower the floor um, yeah 
if you do like a height button and then do height floor or height ceiling and then it'd be able to color code it so like red is default uh, height and then green is like one cube below and then orange is two cubes below but if you want to put like a limit on how high or how low you can go that's great I went somewhere between the the actual um, Doom Builder and the like Ray Casting Game Maker because I like both engines. I just want to have more freedom. And also, I want to do like open worlds. No, not open worlds. I want to be able to uh, go outside because in this game, it's it's kind of annoying. You can't even go outside. So okay, I'll load world. No, don't save changes. Load world one. Execute. You must first create a game. Um, let's go to weapons. Dark realms. See this? The ceiling's like right on top of me. So it's really annoying. So if I could like raise the ceiling. Okay, stop that. If I could like raise the ceiling and lower the floor, maybe that'd be nice because I look real. But like in open worlds, I want to be able to um, go outside if that's possible. Have an open world feel, and it can be like really basic open world where, where you can uh, have like open world button here. And then you can change, have like six textures for like uh, le uh, for the side um, sky, the top sky, if that's possible. Um, portals, be able to do portals. I can jump from one area to another one. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, you look at oh, this casting game maker, and then they like do. Do Builder 2, and then that would, that would be the most awesome engine ever. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. And um, uh, maybe on doors, be able to like uh, click right on uh, or somehow click on them and see if they open up or down or sideways. But that's really not something I would die for. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, yeah. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention was the fact that um it has this thing as a menu maker. So on this you can do main menu, you can change the main menu setup, you can import a picture and change it and save save it so it actually works and then you can change the text. Um so it'll actually do new game loads, yeah, and this is basically what I want. Um, load menu is the same thing, I wouldn't change it, I just copy it where it has save menu, 1 through 4, maybe 1 through 6, uh, that'd be nice, we'll do the same setup as this. Status bars, wouldn't change it, just keep it with this. Next level screen, I could keep it with this, wouldn't actually um, do anything. Um, in game screen, wouldn't really change it score numbers wouldn't really change it uh, what I do need is probably a intro screen and the ability to add more of them because in several games they actually have um, like a storytelling in the beginning so they'll have multiple frames and somebody speaking over them uh, or text on the screen with the picture saying the wizard's doing this and he did this and the orcs invaded and this happened so uh, that would be nice uh, um, so be like an in so be there be like an intro um, page, 
and then you could have multiple intros so you would just say import image and I'll have an image of, the, uh, of it and you couldn't really do anything else so it'd be like import picture and it'd be a box here and it would show the picture and it'd be it. you could do a whole bunch of them but maybe limit it to like 10 because I don't know how many people have intro pages maybe they want to tell a story before you get to the end and then maybe if it's not too much trouble um, it'd be nice if you could do like if you had the ability to either do an intro page or do a important um, AVI or Windows Movie video so you can have a movie like a 30 second movie before you uh, before you hit the menu or um, be able to do a mini uh, video then like a game page to where you can say this is Duck Bill Games uh, with Tyrannical games or something like that. That would be nice. You can have like, oh yeah, uh, splash splash page. What's this called? A splash page where you do all those images, and then um, you can have like a short movie um, clip where you say import clip and do either this AV or um, Windows Movie video, and you can import that. And so it will go through the um, movie first, and then it will go through the animations. Or maybe you can choose which one goes first, like a number one or a number two. But it would only be for the uh, movie and the uh, pictures, little story animation stuff. So yeah, that would actually be the only thing I actually changed on this menu maker. Ability to add in a uh, movie beginning. And then be able to do like uh, pictures if somebody went to tell a story with pictures or tell a story with a mini movie, like 30 seconds before you actually get into like where it says made by Duck Bill Games or something, like that. and then you hit the mini. I hope I explained it correctly and all that stuff. Um, it's I uh, didn't sleep well, I was working up all night, so uh, so. You, you guys all understand. And then, um, yeah, I think that's okay. So, see you guys later.